hello everyone sandra from scrap to beauty i see sophie is uh tattletailing on me tonight she's been mischief all day that's not very nice sophie ratting on me if you guys saw her tweet on my tweet she was spraying snow on my christmas tree <laughs> uh, hi gwen hi sophie hi jenny so it's true, I am not prepared for tonight, so we're going to do a lot of a lot of different things. I have some show and tell first. Who else do we have? Hi, Miss Pris. Hi, Lane. Who else do we have here? Oh, let me fix my chat, see if I could get it going here. Hold on. I'll have to pop it out, I think. Uh, let's see. <sighs> I had a busy day today trying to put the lights on the tree. Well, actually, I put the lights on the tree yesterday. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Coach. Hi, Bunny. And then today I put my heavy ornaments on and I kind of let them go overnight. And then tomorrow I fill in with like the little lighter stuff. So it takes me about three days to do my tree. I put about 1,200 lights on it <laughs> and probably about six or seven hundred ornaments <laughs> I mean if you count the little ones like little snowflakes and stuff like that so <sighs> I'm like tired today <laughs> oh, nice crappy lady <laughs> all right so while I was digging out some of my Christmas stuff I did find oh first let me show I went to the um Christmas store we have a um it's not really a Christmas store. It's like a nursery where we buy our trees. And they um, they also have ornaments too. And I always buy one or two different ornaments. And this year um, I have my sea tree. Most of you see my blog from last year. I have uh, ornaments with all sea creatures on it. But then this year I bought these with the burlap. Have you seen these? I mean burlap is like everywhere. Twine and stuff like that. Aren't these cute? with the um, mirror balls so my other front room is um, has burlap trees and stuff like that so I'm trying to do some burlap ornaments and and things hi blissful <laughs> hi Aunt Maggie so um, so next week I don't know um, if well we might we're gonna do some more stuff for the embellishments for the mini album but then maybe next week we might do a couple of ornaments because I need some ornaments and stuff for my tree so but aren't they cute oh, I love these and I love anything with pine cones so I wound up getting um, cute little bird with some pine cones you've seen these they usually have like an owl and different things like that so <laughs> they're cute aren't they so I want to try to make some um, maybe we'll try to make some next week we'll see so and then while I was hunting for my ornaments I did happen to find my tags from a couple years ago so I thought I'd share those with you real quick tonight before we get started hi Linda so of course you guys have seen these the metallic tags and you put the alcohol ink on them so here's one I did with snowflakes and this has got like blue and purple this will be a nice tag for the book we might use this for the book we'll see I have that one. I have this cute little blue one with the reindeer. And hi, Pam. Isn't it cute? And then I have a Christmas tree one. And this one I love with the Noel. And this is Tim's little pine cone um, die. And that's with the metallic, too. And it's got, it's light blue. It's hard to see. This would be cute too for the book. And then I did this one with the red. Red and green. What else? Oh, I have that one too. I love the, this is a cuddle bug folder. And I did that one. And then there's, I like this one. This one will be perfect for my front room with the um, burlap. Because that's what my front room is going to be, all burlap. Hi, Linda. <laughs> and let's see, I have pink one 
This is pink and gold. Oh, what did you do? The snow on the pine cones. Uh, you mean the spray snow? Um, I brought the Gabby loved the when we went to see the trees. Um, they have the white snow like it looks like fake snow. So I bought a can of snow and I put that on my tree today. <laughs> um, and it, those of you who know the pink elf, this is one that he gave me. I think this was like two years ago. He made this one and it comes out with a little message here. And then he also made this one too. I have to get, well, I usually send him one every year, so I have to start with that. I love this one. It's got the snowflake cut out of acetate, and then he put glossy accent on here on the snowman. <laughs> uh, you'll be watching. <laughs> Isn't that cute? That one's cute. And then this was a card I got from Artie Dar last year. Isn't that cute? Yeah, she's been missing. Her son had some major surgery on his back and stuff, so I have to send her good wishes. Yeah, they came out cute. Very cute. Then I always save them, and then I usually put them up on her, um, like a wreath, and I tie it on my in the back of my door. So I thought I would show you those. And then, did I have anything else to show you tonight? Mm, I think that's it. So what we're going to do tonight is we are going to practice with acetate. So this is what I did over the weekend. So I'll show you that. And then we're going to try different things on acetate tonight. Oh, let me move you guys out a little. Hold on. Let's see how that works. So this is what we did last week. Remember our little snowman and our little penguin. And then I actually used um, and it's I actually used the um, cosmic shimmer. And you can see here how let me put this on here. So you can see how it glitters. And of course I'm looking for this um, stencil. Do you think I could find it tonight? I mean I just used it like two days ago and I can't find it. But then um, you can see here my little penguin is like swimming in the uh, water behind here. So I'm not sure if we're going to use this kind of method or if we're going to use the magnets. Doesn't he look cute? So he actually looks like this. He looks more like a crow. I think I'm going to have to make a different, um, a different penguin. But this was just my practice to see what we were going to do. So, but it's cute. Comes out like that. And then you can write a big long message on there. So, so we're either going to do this or the magnets. We might do both till we see. Are you missed last week? Last week we created our little snowman. That's this one with the cute little eyes. Isn't that cute? And then we did this little penguin with the little smile because Jean Marie said he looked so sad. <laughs> So we did a smile on his face. And then we did this other one. This one here. I love this one. This one's out of cardstock. And then these are out of mulberry paper. So, so we're gonna do different things on acetate. So I have some um, acetate pieces so we could try. So I wanna show you how to do rub-ons on there. We're gonna do um, stenciling. Um, stays on and I also want to try um, the indigo blue so let me get my pieces these are my scraps I have to watch later okay Deborah are you guys away from work so okay yeah, they came out really cute. So, and we'll probably do a couple more. And I think I did a white polar bear too, which I don't know where he is. Oh, yeah, there he is. But I want to make him a little bit smaller. He's a little bit too big for our. I think we're going to do like eight by eight. Isn't that cute. <laughs> so cute. So, what we're going to do is we'll do different things. So, first, let's just do the regular. I'm going to do a little bit of rub on. And then, and these are kind of old, so I don't even know if they'll work. So let's cut this in half. We're going to also use some of this, this crystal gel. And then we're going to use, I don't know if we'll use this color. Maybe we'll use the peacock kind of color. And then we're going to use, I think for the book, I think we should use this silver. So. 
<laughs> oh, you want those stencils? <laughs> They're very cute. I think I think Scrap Dub do has these. This is a jingle one, and then this is the holly leaf one. And then I have, I was looking for my snowflake one. I don't know if he does a snowflake. I have to go back and look. But now I'm looking for my scissors, which I still can't find my Tim scissors. So we're just going to cut this up to just try a couple couple different things. Hi, Patty. So this is just practice. And then maybe tonight we'll get to the front cover. We'll see. We'll see. Oh my gosh, it just takes a lot out of me to do my tree. My ankles are just like throbbing. <laughs> it does look cute, cute though. I have a cookie swap every year. And um, the girls just love my sea tree. Alright, so let me get a piece of white paper. So that we can put this underneath. So you can see. You be lost without your Timmy scissors? I actually have to get another pair. I don't know what happened to them. I always keep a pair up here and a pair downstairs, and I'm missing my pair up here. I just, I don't know. I think Sophie's playing games with me tonight. <laughs> Well, for a while now. They've been missing for a couple weeks now. <laughs> so there's always two sides to the acetate. So I'm going to just leave the one blue side on so you'll be able to see. And then I'll take it off once we finish. So let's just do a couple rub-ons first. No, it's clear acetate. It's just got blue on both sides, the, um, the backing like. So I don't want to waste all of these. So let's just do one, just so you can see what it's like. It really is uh, nice on the acetate. rub -ons, you could use stickers. Like if these are... Um, vellum stickers so we'll stick one of those on there just so you could see how it is on the acetate with the nice thing being clear and these being vellum um you can see it on both sides you love the long handle of tim's i have a hard time to use them sometimes i use them from certain things and not so when you put this down, you're just going to lay it down like this. And I like to warm it up with my hands first. And then I need a rubbing tool. I used to have one. Let's see. I don't think this one comes with the stick, does it? Let's see. Really, you could just have, yeah, it does. A popsicle stick or <clears throat> even a bone folder. Let's do the bone folder. You have some, yeah, use the stickers on here. It's really good. And like I said, I don't know how well this is going to be. These um, rub-ons are like super old. So let's just see. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to even stick. I think I need something. This one. So you just have to press really hard with your rub-ons. So let's see if that works. Now, I think these are just so old that they're just not going to come off. Oh, no, wait, there it did. It did. I'm going to need to warm it up a little bit more. Ones, The ones I really like are the old basic gray ones worked really well. And these are more metallic. They're not really like rub-ons, rub-ons. They're quite different. And you know me, I don't have too much strength in my hands, so that doesn't help either. So let's see. Yeah, it's coming. And you can tell when you put your rub bones on, um, when they um, 
are pretty well stuck and mm -hmm. then you can just lift it up little by little and then see where you missed and go back over it. All right, so let's see how that works. Not bad. There we go. So see? Oh, she slips it under her hip, really? <laughs> All right, so now let's take it off so we can see what the back looks like. So you're going to peel this off. And if I had a stencil, um, which I don't, let me see if I have, so we'll do it all on one on this one from here. Well, I'll do it on the next one. So this is a sticker and then now a rub on. And then see on the back. So now on the front, it's a light blue. I don't know if you could tell that it's light blue the rub on and then in the back you see it's just silver which is nice but that's a nice thing about the acetate so you can see it on both sides so those are two ways and then I'm going to show you now with the white stays on really the only um, the only ink that you can use is white stays on and of course, I don't have, uh, we have this. Let's do the word. I don't know if Tim has, let me see. Does he have a snowflake die in these? I don't remember. Oh, let me plug you in too while I have you on here. There we go. So let's see. If he doesn't, he should come out with a snowflake. I was looking for my Dilutions one. I do have that, but do you think I could find it before the show? No. <laughs> Scattered. Oh, we do have the holly leaves. I don't think he does have a snowflake one. Wow, that's one he should come out with, don't you think? <laughs> oh, there's this one with the sweater. We could do that one. I want to have this one. This one is an extra one. So we'll do that with the acetate. So now again, remember you have to always take off this first layer. Sometimes acetate comes with um, like a gray. It all depends. Some of them, so you take that first one off, the film off, and then we'll leave the other blue one on for now. So let's do this one. Sweater. Did you guys ever see on um, Sizzix blog? I think it was Sizzix blog a couple weeks ago. Um, they did a cute little gift holder. Um, with the sweater and they just took like a coin envelope and then punched like a little curve for the um, the neckline It was really cute So we have this and now we need um, a sponge Get one of these I use one of these Now this is, I have some stays on remover. This will stain my, um, cause it's plastic, um, but it does come out really cool on here. And of course this is one of my old ones. I wonder if I have my other newer one up here. Usually you can fill it up with the ink. And I have another one, but uh, I don't see it up here. It might be downstairs. This really needs to be re-inked, and I don't have a re-inker up here. So 
and I'll just give you an idea what it looks like. But you could do the whole page or half the page with this. So can you see? And that's what the white stays on. And I always love to um, ink the edges of my um, acetate with the with this part. See how the edges it looks nice, just like that. So that's one way with the stays on. And that's the only way that you could do acetate, either with the stays on or not. Yes, I'm going to use the Cosmic Shimmer, Barry. Yep, I am. I showed it to him before. That's this one. Because um, it takes some time to dry. So here's the Cosmic Shimmer. So can you see there? It's so shimmery. It's nice and thick. It's really pretty. I love that. Yeah, we're going to use the Cosmic Shimmer too. But that's the stays on. So um, we have that. And then I want to use, um, I'm looking for one of my little stamps. So we can use the Mega Flakes. So what I'm going to do is I have a couple of snowflakes. So I'm going to take the plastic off of here. This I also use this for instead of a block for stamps. I use it to um, put my stamps on here when I want to when I want to stamp. So we're going to use our indigo blue. And we need our little scrunchie. We need our little thing for glue. What else? So what you're going to do is you're going to put, and I always keep my um, pad um, in like a little, it should be a Ziploc, but I put it in this. Oh my gosh, the chat is like, hi Amanda. <laughs> hi those who came in, I didn't get a chance to say hello. But we're working on acetate, different things you could do with the acetate. So you're just going to squeeze a little bit on here. And I just rub it in. Like that. And then we want to put this on our stamp here. And then we're going to stamp it on here. And you have to be careful, you know, this slides because it's, you know, um, slippery surface. So you can't, like, just press hard on it. You just have to gently press on there. So we'll give that a second to dry. And then you want to make sure you wipe off your stamp right away because it's glue. I usually put this in water, but I'll just wipe it tonight quickly. Hi, Jim Marie. Did you get your stamp, Jim Marie? Okay. So then I'm just going to put this right back in here. And you can wash this out and reuse it too. I've done that too, but I'm just going to leave it in here for now. So that's dry, so we can take the stamps off of here.
and then we could still use this for some acetate and then I think I'm going to use the silver and you only need to take a little bit out since we're just doing just a little spot right now can you see Where's June Marie? I don't want to hear. Good thing Lori's not here. She's watching the tape. She's hyperventilating right now. <laughs> you did. You got it. Good. So then you want to rub that in really well. And you don't want to really take the scrunchie too hard to it because you don't want to scratch the acetate either. So, let's see. I didn't get enough, quite enough glue on that. We're definitely going to use this. I don't know if we'll use it on the front cover, but we're definitely going to use some of this on our. There. And as long as you don't use a lot of it, it doesn't really leave too much of a mess. So I just take out just what I need, and then I don't have to worry about it. Um, so isn't that pretty? It's hard for you to see. Let me get a piece of black paper. Um, and then I'll take this off of the other side too. There we go. So can you see? See how pretty that is? And then I'm going to take the blue off so that you can see it. It is a little, sometimes a little cumbersome getting this off. I like to keep, sometimes if I keep the, I want the blue for water. I did that for um, when we did by the sea. I kept the blue on the background. But see, now here it is clear. So now you can see. Now you can see the white stays on here really well. And you can see the um, the snowflakes. Now this one has a lot of detail, so I probably pick another snowflake. And then here's the back. And it looks just as good on the front as it does in the back. So, so now we have that. We have this, the um, stays on. We have the mega flakes, the rub-ons, and the stickers. So now we're going to try. You guys have any questions? It's very pretty. Thank you, Bunny. <laughs> you saw a card with silver flakes on an aspen tree. I bet that looked pretty, yeah. Um, and so now we're going to do um, the Cosmic Shimmer. And I also want to try this Crystal Gel. See what that looks like. So. We have to take this off. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on one second. I'll see. <laughs> Hold on. All right. So now we're going to take this one off. So now we'll use, um, what do I do with the stencils? Where's the other one? Let's do this one. I did this one for with the banner with the gold, um, and that was really pretty. So many sparkly things, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. We'll do one with the shimmer, and then we'll do one with the crystal gel. See what the difference is. And you can see I love this. I've already used almost half a jar already. <laughs> it's like it's so it has so much glitter to it. It's really pretty. All right. And 
and you have to see when you put this on you just kind of want to go level with your stencil because you could see if I go too far deep see how you scrape that in there so you just really want to stay kind of level you don't want to really press too hard when you're um, when you're doing this you want to get it in there but you don't want to scrape it off especially with this stencil it has like big openings so you just want to remember that let's get a little bit more and the trick is um, too if you have a hard time um, with your stencils lifting up I usually put like a little glue dot in the spaces where there's not a hole and that'll keep it in in um, in place so if you're afraid if you're gonna move their stencil too much I, I'll, I'll do that All right so this one is the cosmic shimmer and then you're just going to peel that right off ooh that's pretty you see how pretty that looks where's my black it's so glittery it's just really really nice and if you turn it one way, it's kind of a greenish glitter. And if you turn it another way, it's kind of like gold and a little pink. It's really pretty. The glass bead gels would work. I might have some up here. I'll have to see. We could try it. So we'll let that dry. And let's try. Let me wipe this off. I want to try the um, crystal gel, which I have. Let's just wipe this off. You can tint this with Lindy's. Can you tint this? You mean tint this with a spray color? That would be nice. You need more of this this is the one I like too this is the frosty dawn one all right so now let's um, let's try this one the crystal gel so that's this one and then we'll try um, this one the crystal gel This one's got like more flakes like bigger glittery flakes to it so let's try that oops this one I already took that one side off okay so let's go again with this one so we could see the difference And then with this one, I'm since it's a little wet, I am going to put a little glue dot if I can find them. Yeah. Just to keep it in place. I really only need like half the size of this, but I don't know where my little ones are. So. So that'll help hold it. And then we'll take this one off. And then you just have to remember where that glue dot is. It's going to give you a little bit more resistance. So there we go. So now here is the crystal gel. It's a little bit clearer not as white but still looks pretty see how it's bigger flakes it's got those bigger flakes in it than the co the um, the cosmic shimmer but I think it's just as pretty too 
So we'll let those dry and see how they come out. Oh my gosh, I think I have your card here, Janie. I gotta look to see. I think I pulled it out. I'll have to look for it. So I just wanna make sure you wipe this all down so it doesn't get glue in there. Especially in those little places. Make sure you get it all out. And then I'll just do the back. Let's see if I have your card here. I just saw it too, unless I left it downstairs. Oh, I do have Janie's card up here. This was Janie's card from last year. It started out, tell them the story, Janie, right? It started out as a, I have it right here. It started as a plain front card, and then she did ivory, and she cut and stamped on it, and put all the uh, mica flakes on there. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> It would have been a lot easier with the co with the shimmer stuff, wouldn't it? <laughs> but I like the brown. That's all mica flakes in there. Very pretty glittery snowflakes. <laughs> that was Janie's car from last year. <laughs> all right. So we've done that. So let's see. So we've done one, two, three, four. What else do we have here? Let me see if I have the glass beads. Hold on. And then we'll try the glass beads on there. Let's see. Matt, Matt, Matt. Oh, I do. We can try the glass beads. Try that, and what else do I have here? Awesome piece. Of course, then we have the texture piece. Let me see if I have my homemade paste in here, too. The only thing I'm afraid with the homemade paste is if it flakes off. Let's, we can try it and then see. So let me get that. So, so we have these two to try. So we'll try the um, gel beads first. So let me get another piece of acetate here. And then we'll try the homemade paste. Let's see how that works. Scissors. So we'll try the glass beads next. So I'm going to pull this off. You guys have any questions so far? Let's see. You got your you got your cards out, Marilyn? you need um, like a little knife or something to pull this out. There we go. Well, 
Oh, I saw you said something. You were just pulling yours out. I don't know if you were pulling your old Christmas cards out. Well, I missed it. <laughs> All right, so we have that top part off. So let's try this, the gels. The, of course, if I can open it. And we'll use the same stencil. I might as well. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, you know, this is a glass bead. Yeah, this is glass bead glitter. So we'll see what this looks like. This is a lot whiter. So let's see what that is. I don't really see any beads in here though. Is this really bead? It says glass bead. They must be super fine. Because the other jar I have has like bigger beads. All right, so let's see what this looks like. So let's use, um, let's use this side. Oh yeah, there they are. I see them now. These are real fine um, beads. I have another uh, jar somewhere else that have a little bit bigger beads, but I like the little fine beads. Remember, on these bigger gaps here, you just kind of have to go level with it. Otherwise, you just get it right off. Right. Depends on how uh, the glimmer doesn't take that. What? The glimmer doesn't take that long to dry? Yeah, we'll see. Um, oh, and this one's just as pretty, too. So can you see that? But you can't really notice the beads. We'll have probably have to wait till this dries. Can you see the... I don't know if you can see the little beads in there. Let me um, put it on autofocus so maybe you can see. Let's just wipe this off. Let me get my another wipe. It's a lot heavier, this one. Uh, I need, um, I wish I had, oh, here, I do have my mat. <laughs> here we go. There we go. I'll just wipe this off. Let me put it on autofocus and see if I can get you to see the beads. So let's see. All right. Let's see if you can see those little beads now. There it is. See it? So now I will be able to see once that dries what that looks like. So now we have three of them. So let me take it off of that. Autofocus for you. The beads are really tiny. Which is my favorite? Mm. 
I think I'm gonna I'm gonna say the cosmic shimmer until I wait to see what this one looks like dry but right now I think I really like that one the cosmic shimmer because you can see as this one is drying it's like very light where this one still keeps some white to it so I think this would be better for like snowflakes and stuff like that so I think I really like the cosmic shimmer yeah it does look on that yep yeah, best live. This one, this one looks the best so far. Let me get a paper towel. Oops. All right. So the last one we have to try now is the homemade paste. And that's what I want to see once it dries. Um, like I know this Cosmic Shimmer, it doesn't peel off. Like you can see this one here. I can rub my finger on it and it doesn't peel off at all. But I'm thinking the homemade texture paste might. I don't know if it'll stay, so we'll try it. We'll test it out. Oh, I got like stickiness all over me. Alright, so let's do one more. And that's with the homemade paste. You need that color shimmer. The only one I have is the gold, and I have that downstairs. I'm going to have to try to get maybe the other ones. They're, I really like the way it works. I definitely need another jar of that shimmer. Oh, I need my knife. Alright, so now we're going to try with the homemade paste. And I don't know if my homemade paste is dried out or not. So we'll see how it goes. I can't remember last time I used it. The best part is it always smells like baby powder when you open it up. <laughs> so let's mix this up and see. Oh yeah, it needs water. more water hi celebrate we've been working on a bunch of die cuts that's good See, I'm going to have to make myself a new batch of this. It's pretty thick still. I want to get it kind of smooth. It's coming. Just a little bit more. A little bit more water. Who makes the um, shimmer paste? It is. Who does make the shimmer paste? Oh, sparkle blah blah blah. Dark, uh, creative expressions. Is that right, Janie? Creative expressions. Still kind of pasty like. I really want it just a little bit more liquidy. A little bit more. There we go. That's better. That's the nice thing about this. You can make it whatever consistency you want. You can make it really smooth or watery. That looks pretty good now. 
Mm, I wish you guys could smell it. It's just like baby powder. <laughs> Laurel! Hi, Laurel! <laughs> oh my gosh, I just met Krista at the Ranger because I had dropped off some stuff to give her for her school. Okay, so now we're ready to, to try this one. So this is the homemade texture paste on acetate and see what that work looks like. So we'll use the same stencil so we can have them all to compare. So make sure it's nice and flat. Feels like there's something fuzzy on there. Wipey wipey little strings on there. Okay. Alright. So I'll put this on here now. I'm going to lay this one just a little thicker just so that we get some height to this one. There we go. I'll just peel that back. Ooh, that's pretty too. And so this is the texture paste. And what's nice with this one, I don't know if you can see, it's got some dimension to it. Because I put it on a little bit thicker. So we'll see how that dries. Once I take the blue part off the back, it'll look just as nice on the back. But, mm, it smells good. <laughs> Alright, so let's close this up. Let's wipe this off. Clean this off. Mm, did you do a Ustream or YouTube making the texture paste? No. Um, the texture paste I got from... <clears throat> You know, um, Gabrielle, and I can never say her last name, she's um, on Bow Bunny's design. Well, she's on a lot of design teams, but it's her homemade texture paste, and um, she did a YouTube on it. So you can always just um, Google her, Gabrielle, I forget, with a P, um, and um, that's ho her homemade texture paste. I mean, there's a lot of people who do texture paste, but that's the one I used. Yes, you can add color or sparkle to it. Yep, you can color it, glitter. You could make your own little glass beads too with it. If you poured, if you had micro beads and poured that in there, you can make your own. All right, get a paper towel. You'll look for it okay yep yeah. she has it on her sidebar if you go to her her blog is such a pretty mess i think it's such a pretty mess and if you look on her sidebar bar she has homemade texture paste you can just click right on it oh you'll look for it jenny if you go to her blog yes get that's it sophie yes you have it gabrielle polacco P-O-L-A-C-C-O. -C -C but her blog is called Such a Pretty Mess, I believe. And then you can click on the side, on her sidebar. Yeah. All right, so that's all nice and clean now. I got these both clean. So let's see if any of these are dry yet. Stick that there. So, 
this is it's it's tacky but not quite dry yet and I know this one isn't because it's like you could tell it's just not dry yet but let's pull the back off of it let's see what that looks like Ooh, that's pretty isn't it that one's pretty this one will be I think really good for like ice cubes I want to try to make some ice cubes because we want to have one of our penguins sitting on ice cubes. There you go. Lainey, you got it. Thank you. Yep, Gabrielle. It's Gabrielle Polacco. I hope I say that right. P-O-L-L-A-C-C-O dot blogspot dot com. Yes. Yep, yep, you got it. Good. Thanks, Danny. Thanks, Lainey. So, yeah, that's Gabrielle's. So, yeah, so this one's pretty. I kind of like this one, too. For more like icicles and stuff, this one is pretty. So let's take the plastic off in the back of this one. Oh, I need my knife. So now that's the cosmic shimmer. This one does, it does shimmer a lot. And then this one is the glass beads. So let's take the plastic off of that. I love working with acetate. It's one of my favorite things for minis and stuff like that. One of my pet peeves is when somebody takes acetate and just puts, what do you call it, cardstock right over the whole thing. You might as well use chipboard. So this is the one with the glass beads. These two are really pretty. I really like this one. I'm thinking for icicles. It's got such a pretty, like, shimmer. And this one, you can't really appreciate the, um, like, so much glitter in this one. Can you see? This one's got like so much glitter. So that's that one. We still have to let that dry a little. But I really, I'm really liking this one too. The crystal gel one. I'm thinking for my ice cubes in the mini and for icicles. I think this one will be pretty. Can you see that? The blue and green in there. No, oh, it's hard to see. <laughs> All right. So we'll let those dry a little. Maybe by the time before we get off, they'll be dry. All right, now we have all that done. The acrylic's done. Let's clean up a little bit. And now we're going to try to make some ice cubes. So I'm going to try to do it with some acetate. And then we're going to try to just do it with plain paper. So let me clean up here so I can get rid of some of this mess I have here. This one is the festive layering. That's this one. Any questions while I'm cleaning up? I'm going back to your weeding. Okay, celebrate. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, to perform her magic. Yeah, that would be nice. Because <laughs> it's not working. I have such a hard time reading it. Hi, Eileen. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I've been tweeting Eileen all day today. <laughs> all right. So let's clean this up. Put this away. See where my other cover is for this. How do you color the texture paste? You could color it with paint. Um, you could spray. You can use Lindy's spray, any type of spray. Prima spray, you can color it with it, pretty much anything. Acrylic paint, your, um, I guess Tim's new sprays would color it too. I don't, I haven't tried any of those yet. Have you guys tried them yet? His new um, stains? I haven't got them yet. Okay, let's put this away. I'll keep that one out. Nah. <laughs> 
there's a secret link she did it thank you <laughs> hopefully that works oh and i promised Kristen. is Kristen here i don't know if Kristen is here or not i promised i was going to show her how i did the two different santas so let me explain that to you real quick so if you have this die you see this piece that here that i have that's really for his face the santa's face so that's this piece here so I laid that down flat and then you can see that this is just um, the hat again can you see so if you can see I just only popped up the mustache and then I put the face with the eyebrows and then I just glittered this here and then this one I took the face part oh and I also put a little mouth I like it with the little mouth in there Yes, Tim has new, uh, Tim has, what do you call it, new um, sprays. They're stain sprays, right? Aren't they? Yeah, the stain sprays. That's what they just came out with. I haven't tried it yet, so. But so you can see how I put a little mouth on him there. I think he looks cute with the mouth. And then this is just all flat. This is just stickles up in here. And then I um, folded the little um, holly leaves and put some... Um, berries on there stained daubers yep you can use those yeah and then for this one I took the face piece and then I popped it up so you could see I popped it up here and then I didn't put the eyebrows when it when I did that and then uh, this one I didn't put the mouth and then just colored his little cheeks and stuff so it's two different ways that you can make the Santa like this with the face part as part of his hat or just use it as his face oh you can remember good so that's yep so that's the two different ways you could do it so you see the difference I still pop both mustaches out but I really do like them with and all you do is just take the nose and just cut another one just stick it right underneath his mustache here thank you Eileen yeah and then um Yep, and then I cut um, another piece for the hat to make it like a double, so it looks double. I just let it um, show just a little bit, so it looks higher up. Yes, both of these are cut from cardstock. These are just beige, um, like a beige cardstock, and then I just took white um, ink and did his beard, and then just took some vintage photo, or this might be gathered twigs. So both are cut out of beige, and one I just did with... Um, this was either festive berries or fire brick <coughs> but it's both the same yep <laughs> CP says she, Eileen will buy the dye for her <laughs> so yeah and then this one I just put my cute little um, acorns with the jingle bells on here And then, yep, and then this is still cut out of the beige, and then I just took the green. I forget which green this is. Forest green, and then just ink those. So this is just one holly leaf on here. And then you can see it's just with the other one on the back there. Who makes this dye? It's, um, they have it in the store, I believe. Um, Sizzix does. It's Tim Holtz's dye, yes. His new one, his new Santa one very cute I also saw how they cut this out of felt too which looks cute too out of felt but so if Kristen's here she's watching the recording there you go that's the two different ways to use Tim's um, dye with the face on his hat or with this face here <laughs> all right so on to our ice cubes so let's see how we're gonna do those tonight I wish I had some alcohol ink up here, and I don't think I do. So we might just do it out of cardstock, and then maybe I'll have to get some um, alcohol ink. I think I only have brown up here. I really want blue. But we'll see. All right, so let's clean this up. This is still, still wet. You guys have any other questions before we go on <laughs> you love the card thank you <laughs> hi card chick <laughs> oh it's all sold out oh no I don't know if Barry can get any more in all right 
right, so let me make a little room. And we need some white cardstock. So there's some white. Oh no. <laughs> Hold on one second. Okay, Alright. We're going to need chalk. So let me move this one over here. we're going to attempt to do ice cubes so this way we'll be able to do our work our little penguin sitting on an ice cube I'm looking for my my chalk and then maybe we'll make um, an igloo too we'll see all right I need pencil we need chalk we need some and my chalk's old you can see it's all crumbly <laughs> I think I'm going to use one of these wobbles to put our penguin to wobble around in. So. good she'll check back tomorrow that's good they're gonna check to see if they have the Santa dye <clears throat> all right so we need a brush what else do I need a pencil We're going to make some other penguins too, but I want to just have an idea of what kind of ice cube I'm going to have them sitting on. So there we go. So let's cut this one out. Still looking to see if I could find my blue ink up here so we could do one out of um, acetate. And you don't want these um, like real straight, these little ice cubes. So, see, I kind of cut it like with a little curve. So, let's just curve the bottom here a little bit. And then where is my so I'm going to take this blue of course my little blue is like all in little pieces and we're going to Miko, 
Hi everyone who came in. Anybody I missed? We're making ice cubes for our little mini album for the altitude. So there he is. So now he can be sitting on an ice cube. Although I'm going to have one sitting so he's like fishing. We'll see like he's fishing. Ah! This is a bead one. Still not. You can see it's starting to get clear now. And it's starting to dry right here. So there's one ice cube. So see pretty much you're just going to draw kind of like a slight V. Like a square. But then we just round it and let's like curve the ice cubes a little bit. I wish I could find my um, alcohol ink so we could do one out of acetate. I only have the brown. <clears throat> I might have to show that to you next week. And then what we want to do is make a little igloo. I think I'm going to put an igloo in the front. Right on the other. <clears throat> So now we can do a couple of these ice cubes. We want to do maybe two next to each other. So I'm going to turn this over. I'll do a couple of them. Make one small and one big. I want to make this one just a little bit bigger. So you don't really want to get them too straight. You want them really kind of curvy like. You know ice cubes are kind of like roundish. So there's another one. Oops, I'm off camera, sorry. second I just messed up my chat <laughs> oh hold on one second <laughs> oh there it is oh what a pain there we go <laughs> all right this one I'm going to add a little bit darker blue I like this blue better. Better than that blue. I'm going to the center of town. Oh no. Where are you, Sophie? What's this leaning? Oh, Leaning Tower of Pisa. Are you in Italy? Mm, 
what happened here now? There we go. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, in New, New Zealand. Oh, it must be late there for you, isn't it? So there we are. We have our ice cubes now. Oh, weren't they cute? With them sitting on the ice cubes. <laughs> we were in New Zealand a couple years ago. I don't know if I was near there. I'm going to redo this one. I, I don't like that. This kind of looks grayish. on a bed of ice cubes. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> All right. So now we're going to try our igloo. And we'll have one of our penguins on the igloo. So let me get rid of this so I don't get any blue on there. And so for our igloo, I'm just going to do kind of not a straight line, just a slight arch. And then, let's see, I want, I'm gonna do like a half a circle, kind of like a half a circle. Maybe a little bit bigger. Kind of like a half a moon, can you see? And then our igloo, you know, where they kind of enter in. Well, it's going to be hmm, kind of like the entrance on the side here. We'll see how it goes. And then we're going to have to draw our lines, you know, for the igloo. We'll make the little ice cubes. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> All right. So let's do this. I'm just going to go a little bit bigger just so we could see. Take our blue again, and right now I'm just going to do the edges. And you could do this with your, um, you know, distress inks too, or cat's eye, whatever you have. Ink. I just happen to have the chalk, and that's what I'm using. Oh, and I make sure my hands are clean. That's the only problem when you're doing the white that that blue chalk gets everywhere. So now that we have a couple embellishments for our mini, next week we definitely will start the mini. So we just want to do kind of like lines, like um, the igloos are. I probably really should have like a curve or something. So let's see. I'm going to make myself like a little template, kind of. So kind of the curve of... Maybe 
like this way better. Let's do that. Because I want just a thin, just a thin line. So I don't want to get a really thick line of blue on there. So I'm going to do mostly on here. So see, I get a really small, thin line. Just like that. And then we're going to do a couple of layers on here. Oh, thank you, Eileen. <laughs> Coming along. I'll do do like four rows yeah it's great I like to do clouds like this too if you made like little big scallops you could do clouds I'll show that to you Anna Another piece. Or even waves, you know, if you're doing uh, waves. Just gives you a nice thin line. So now with our ice cubes, you're going to have to do every other one. So I'll show you what I mean. We want kind of more of a like a straight line, I would say. So we'll do one. We want them kind of big. Oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. So there's one. We might have to put another line in there. We'll see. And then, of course, you're going to draw now in between here. In between each of those big ones. And then again, you go into the top one and you go in between. That's good, doesn't it? <laughs> and then we need to do the doorway. So for the doorway, we only need we'll just this little curve here. And there we go. So now we have our little penguin on top of our igloo. <laughs> uh, what brushes do I use? Um, they're just regular, um, like a stencil, like a stencil brush called the stencil collection it's any little stencil has got those little um bristles so that it's hard that when you stamp you know yes it's a stencil brush that's right barry yeah stencil brush and i have different kinds i have like ones that are a little bit thicker and then i have ones that are a little bit thinner um they have all different kinds mostly you just want it so it's stiff there but they have different, you know, different ones. So that's thick or thin. All right, so there's our cute little igloo. Isn't it cute? And we have our ice cubes. So we have quite a few embellishments now for next week to get going. So. Oh, look how cute. Where's my other little bear? So we could put them anywhere, really. <laughs> Look cute. You've been using a softer brush? Yeah, you know, it has to be um, stiffer. It's like really, you can see it, it's, I don't think I have a new one to show you. Um, oh yeah, here I do. 
can you see oops see how stiff let me put it on autofocus for you you tear off a little piece of makeup wedge yeah you could use that too I like the brushes with the mulberry paper because it also um, like fluffs them out a little bit so here let's see so I'll give you a closer look at it here come on focus there it is. So it's just stiffer, a stiffle, stiffer bristle. <laughs> but that's what it looks like. But it's nice, like I said, because it fluffs, it fluffs the um, the bear, tear bear out, like. Use cotton swabs too. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see what we have here now. So this is going to be our front cover. And of course I cut three holes in here, which you can't see, but I did. <laughs> so, um, and I'm thinking that I'm going to use for the back, the next page. Remember we cut the scarf out of here for the, um, the snowman. So I'm thinking that we're going to use this for the back page. And I still have to take the blue acetate off of this back piece. But we'll probably do this. And then, where's our little snowman? So we'll probably do that. And that. And we'll put some type of title, I think, in here. And then I'm going to decide whether or not next week that um, I think I want to make a different penguin that will go behind here. So that will slide in and out. So when we get him to, oops, let's see if I could show you. So he would, oh, be stuck. There he goes. So he looks like he's swimming in the water. Can you see? <laughs> So we'll play around with that next week. So do you guys have any questions? That's pretty much all I have to share tonight because I wasn't really that prepared. <laughs> As, uh, what do you call it? Sophie so tattled on me earlier. So let's see what we have here. This one's coming out really pretty now. This is the crystal one. I really like that one. And this one, it's still kind of wet. Because it's on the plastic, it does going to take a while for it to... Yep, that's the shimmer paste. That's the one you love? Yep, I love that one too. But I also like this one too. Like I said, I think this one's going to be really cool for... And it's, it's almost dry. It's a lot drier than this one. Can you see? I can already put my fingers on here. And it's not really spreading. Do you see? Mm hmm So, and then here's the texture paste. And this one's still not, not quite dry. But I want to test this to see if this is going to easily come off. So once it's completely dry, let's take the back off of this one. I'll, I'll show you guys that next week to see if it actually worked. So let's take this off. And see, it looks just as nice on the back. That's the best part of this. Nice as, uh, on the front as it does on the back. And then we did our sticker. And our rub-ons. Which now you can see. Silvery on this side. And it's a blue rub-on on that side. And then we did our Mega Flakes. Here. And the white stays on. So there you can see it's all shimmery. <laughs> and then this one's one with the glass beads this one is kind of drying to be like this you can see here it's starting to get clear can you see that it's starting to show up clear so this one will be interesting to see with the glass beads how they show up you can see here the beads are there's a lot of beads right there So, all right, so next week we will start um, our front cover 
and we'll either decide I'm going to decide whether we're going to do the magnets or we're going to do um, this method where I just um, cut it out and then roll it along and we're definitely going to have a different penguin I don't really like this one it reminds me of a black crow <laughs> so you guys have any other questions for me we're going to cut it a little short only because I'm really tired tonight too <laughs> thanks so many of you stayed thank you very much <laughs> the white stays on use white stays on and red metallic card pick up the color from the card yep onto a stamp I'm out everyone is anyone on tomorrow yes tomorrow starts Catherine's um, free class so you guys can go over to Catherine's tomorrow who else is on tomorrow um, Kathy I guess is Friday Barb Owen, she's creating faces. She's also on Friday. And then we'll have to decide. Oh, you're welcome. You enjoyed it? Good, Deborah. Um, Christmas Eve, I won't be able to go on. That's Wednesday night. And New Year's Eve. So I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, maybe Tuesdays before Ash's show. Um, so we can finish up the mini. I'd like to finish it up before I go to CHA because he definitely won't be here for CHA. Oh, it was fun to see different people. Thanks, Bunny. <laughs> yeah, you know, by Catherine. Yeah, she's the only one I think that's on Thursdays. I think. Thank you, Laurel. <laughs> All right, no other questions? So look at my Facebook. Um, also, Scrap It Do. I haven't quite decided yet whether Tuesday's going to be the day. So we'll just see. It's either going to be Monday or Tuesday. So. Um, so we'll see. But next week is Wednesday. The following week is Wednesday. Thanks, Barry. And then um, we'll decide for Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve whether it'll be Monday or Tuesday. I'm thinking more Tuesday before Ash's class. So, any other any other questions? So definitely next week we will start to put all these pieces together. Um, we're using the altitude um, paper, so they have that um, at Scrap It Abadu. Um, and I think we're going to do 8x8 eight eight. and we're going to put some acrylic in between the different pages so are you welcome Jim Marie alright guys then um, I will see you next week um, so have a good weekend are you welcome alright good night everyone bye <laughs>